surely God and have problems, we got to find a way to make sure but people like that are looked after. A business that stands on its own two feet. Giving people welfare to the back door doesn't work. Well, what, what we do you call that? We want to stand on its own two feet. If, if, my God, God, we're we're to we're making less money. money than you made seven years ago. We want to work. That's why, frankly, that's what we want to find a solution here, you're not going to continue to ship out 10 million pounds of redfish and not create a single job in Marystown. Quite frankly, that's not going, and we don't want to be at this. That's the last thing we're going to do. When we arrived at a decision to ship out redfish, everybody concluded that it was the right thing to and do. And it was, including as well. Yourself. Absolutely, including and I never, never and walk away from that. And if we've got to go back and review all of that together, but, we will. But why but not, not do it now? Why not do it now? Why after the election? Why after the election? That's your problem. Hey, my God, God, that would have given a level playing field for the workers at least. Look, if workers could have said to discuss options, we're trying to find a way to make the fishery sustainable. But in terms of doing a direct subsidy, is not where we are. Premier, Premier, I asked you. I made it to Mr. Jackman. Unfortunately, don't return my cause anymore. Well, you, have, but, might, you might want to answer why that might be. What, well, is that why it is? If you support another party, then you don't get the response not, from the, from the no, minister no, and the district. Boy, that's not fair, Bob. Yeah, that's what it is. That's fair, Bob. Yeah, and I never treat no one like that. I never treat no one like that in my life. We're going to be honest about how you're going to do this. And we're not going to do it in the middle of an election campaign. Well, you know, we're not going to be blackmailed into doing but something. But it's not, Premier, that's not the government is still going to give us the right to ship out 10 million but the pounds government, of fish. But you gave them the right to do that, too. Well, they were oh, processing yellowbills. Oh, well, they were processing yellowbills. Oh, you're part of it. Absolutely, and, we're and going, I would never deny and that. And we are going to find a way to resolve those issues. That plant has a future. But we got to find a way that works for the workers and works for the company and works for the people in And, Premier, we've the done The fishery so generates a lot of money in this province, and we've sat by lots of times to watch John Rich and Derek Rowan who come in and walk away with millions and millions and millions. So it's not that the industry is not creating some revenue. Well, we're making, just sure, not coming we're down. making sure that OCI is not walking OCI away will be like from the rest of them. When millions it, and millions and millions. That's why we're doing the independent But how are they doing? In, do you know day. what they're doing in the other business and the scallop and the shrimp and all that kind of stuff? Is, where's the audit going to that? Where's the audit on the workers? Where their families hurting and hurting bad. Because their incomes are less than here in seven years ago. Why don't someone go out and do an audit on an individual that's trying to pay his money? But, you know, in terms of what you're asking me to do today, I'm not prepared to do. I'm not.